I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Insight into Chemical Engineering. In this lecture series, we will solve the unsolved problem of a famous book Stoichiometry and Process Calculations by Kevin Aran. These lectures are helpful for chemical engineering students because process calculation is a core subject for chemical engineering. So during lecture, step by step solution will be provided. So in this lecture, exercise number 2.11 from chapter number 2 that is units and dimensions will be covered. Please like and subscribe for motivation. Now problem number 2.11 nitrogen gas is confined in a cylinder and the pressure of gas is maintained by weight that is placed on the piston and the mass of piston and weight together is 50 kg and we need to find out the force exerted by the atmosphere as well as piston and weight on the gas and dimension of piston is also given and in B part we need to find out the pressure of gas and in this case the gas is allowed to expand so we need to find out the work done by the gas and what will be the change in the potential energy of the piston and weight after expansion. So as per problem it is given that the pressure of the gas is maintained by a piston and a weight that is placed on the piston and the mass of piston as well as weight is given that is 50 kg. So mass of piston plus mass of weight equal to 50 kg and the dimension of piston is also given so we can find out the area of the piston. So it will become equal to pi r square. So this is the diameter so first convert this diameter into radius so it will become 50 mm and then we can convert this 50 mm into meter. So we can estimate the area in term of meter square. Now in part A we need to find out the force exerted by the atmosphere as well as the piston and the weight. So we know that the atmospheric pressure is pushing this piston in the downward side and this weight is also uh, acting in downward side. So first we need to identify that which are the forces and which, in which directions these forces are acting. Then we can find out the force uh, due to the weight and it will become equal to mg. So here we will take the total weight means the weight of piston plus weight of mass that is placed on the piston. So the mass is already given total mass equal to 50 kg and we know that g is the acceleration due to gravity. So it will become equal to 490 Newton and we can find out the force due to atmosphere and it will become equal to pressure into area and area we have already calculated so we can simply put the values so here the pressure is one bar and area we have already calculated so it will become equal to 795 Newton so here first we need to convert this bar into pascals then only we can write pascal into meter square equal to Newton. So total force will become equal to the sum of force due to weight plus piston plus force due to atmosphere. So it will become equal to uh, 1285.4 Newton. Now in part B, we need to find out the pressure of the gas. Now we know that under equilibrium condition, the force from the downward side must be equal to in the upward side. So we know that gas is applying pressure on the piston 
but there is an external pressure so both pressure if they balance each other then only this system will remain under equilibrium conditions so under equilibrium conditions we can write the force exerted by the gas will be equal and opposite to the total force so here we can write the force due to gas will become equal to the total force that we have already calculated now we can easily find out the pressure due to gas because the force due to gas can be written as the pressure due to gas into the area over which it is acting so we already know the area and we have calculated this force due to gas so we can find out the pressure due to gas so it will become equal to this much pascal now in part c work done if the gas is allowed to expand by 400 millimeter means we are allowing this gas to expand by a certain distance so in this case we need to find out the work done so when this gas will expand it has to work against the external force only in that case it can move in the upward direction so we are just neglecting the change in the potential energy of gas so work done by the gas will become equal to force into displacement the total force that we have already calculated in part a and displacement is given that is 400 millimeter so we need to convert this 400 millimeter into meter and we can estimate the work done by the gas so this will be the work done by gas now in part d we need to find out the change in potential energy of piston and weight now when the gas is moving in the upward direction so it will move in the upward directions only when this weight as well as this piston uh, they will move in the upward directions because this gas has to displace this system in the upward direction so from their initial position this weight has moved by a distance that is 400 millimeter so we can find out the change in the potential energy that will become equal to mg delta h so initial h is the reference and final h is the 400 millimeter now total weight of piston plus weight that is placed on the piston is given that is 50 kg and acceleration due to gravity is known and delta h will become equal to 400 millimeter and we need to convert this 400 millimeter into meter and we will calculate the potential energy and it will come out 196 joule Thank you very much for watching and listening. Please comment for improvement and modification and please like and subscribe for motivation.